My name is Kennedy Jones. I'm running for a District 5 City Council. Um, I've been in Arlington for over 30 years. I've been in that neighborhood in District 5 for um, over 30 years. I came from Alabama, graduated at that great university, the University of Alabama, the Crimson Tide, um, bachelor's, master's in engineering, worked on my PhD at Southern Methodist in engineering, small businessman. I uh, started an engineering firm, um, manufacturing, and own a repair station down in Burleson. I know what it. I know what it means to have a business, and I know what it means to make a payroll each week. So I'm I'm acquainted with the issues of small business, and that's important. Now, why am I running? Well, I think the city has made a dramatic turn, and 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 I don't think that's for the worse. Arlington's changed over the last just. 10 years, really over the last seven, it has dramatically and fundamentally changed. The, the um, number of citizens that we have in the city has dramatically gone up, and, and, and I don't think that it has turned toward the worst. I think we've moved in a direction of an upward trajectory. I think that we're doing some good things here in Arlington because if we weren't, people wouldn't want to come here. The, 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 your ability for short-term rentals is because of the the, the, the way that this city has moved in an upward positive direction. And, and what I want to do, the reason why I'm running, is to ensure that, number one, we keep on that upward positive trajectory. And then number two, that all of the citizens of Arlington share in that upward positive trajectory. I've been on the ground in District 5. Um, I'm the pastor of Greater Community Missionary Baptist Church. We started there. It was a vacant lot. And with these hands... I built the first church, and with a group of people, my father was a carpenter. He taught me how to use a hammer, and the first church we built was a 40 by 60 um, uh, church facility. We built that, and then within a, in the last four or five years, we went from that small building to a much larger 10,000 uh, foot facility, but we, built, we have bought and purchased and renovated many of the properties in that area. I know what it means to have neighborhood continuity for uh, the, the homeowners, and so I understand the, the whole concept of short-term rentals and what we should do about it. No, I don't believe that we should ban short-term rentals, but what I've also done, I spent the last 20 years of my life doing public policy. I worked for the FAA, and I'll tell you a short story. While I was, before I went to the FAA, I worked for an aviation company that designed a sliding door. And then afterwards, I went to the FAA, and a project landed on my desk was this sliding door that went on the Bell 430. And so uh, I was asked to go to Bristol, Tennessee, to do a flight test to ensure that they did the thing right, and according to the policies and procedures and regulations of the FAA. So I went there, and uh, I looked at it, and I looked at the drawings, and I looked at the helicopter. I said, you know, this, there's a handle. There's a small handle on the door frame. That's missing. And the guy says, well, you know, Kennedy, we, we looked at your design. We made a few changes. It's mostly the same, but, but um, uh, we didn't need to have them. I said, well, you know, I'm not sure that's true, but you know what? I, we'll see. And he said, well, I'll tell you what. You fly with the pilot when they do the flight test, and you'll see the, the guy's going, uh, he won't need it because the door was meant so that you could slide open. The guy's got a harness on the back, hop out. He could pull people up that were injured or uh, uh, that were, uh, need medical assistance, they go out, pick them up, he pull them up into the helicopter. Well, they, we went out to flight test, and the guy's got the harness on, and he goes to the door, and I said, okay, do your thing. So he, he slides the door open, and he puts his hand on that frame, and he's shaking like a leaf. And he, and he says, okay, fine. He closes the door, sits down. We get down on the ground. And the guy comes up to me, he's the president of the company. He's, Kenny, what do you think? I said, I think unless you put that handle back on that helicopter, this helicopter is never going to leave Bristol, Tennessee. Now, why could I say that? Because while I was flying, I realized that the only thing standing between me and helicopters flying unsafe, that the only thing standing between those designs and the flying public was me. And it wasn't me. It was the policy that I represented, 14 CFR Code of Federal Regulation. And in that 
describes how a design and aviation had to be done. I learned policy. And what's going, and what's going to make the difference when it comes to short-term rental is policy. You've got to have somebody that can sit down, have the fortitude and the experience to look through policy and say, okay, now, what is it that short-term rentals want to achieve? And what is it that homeowners here in the neighborhood, what do they want to ensure? And we can do those things, but we've got to do it in policy because we can write in policy a hammer so that the people that are the bad actors, so then they can be dealt with appropriately. And then the folks that are doing what they should, well, they can be left alone. You can, you, you've got, you've got uh, bed and breakfasts in neighborhoods that work perfectly fine. There's no reason why you can't have short-term rental. And would I vote for the uh, current um, um, regulation as they want to uh, um, um, pass it and all that? No, I wouldn't. But I would sit down and say, look, we can come up with some common sense ways of dealing with this, write it in the policy, and then, and then not just say pie in the sky. Well, we're going to do something. No, I'm saying that I would sit down in policy and figure that out, and then we get it done. Civic responsibility, dealing with the neighborhood, uh, dealing with the folks in the neighborhood, the bad actors, uh, drugs, gangs. I've been on the ground dealing with that, confronting it face to face. I've stared down drug dealers and gang uh, members and said, not in District 5, not around Harmon Terrace, not around Middle Lane. I'm Kennedy Jones. I'm asking for your vote. <laughs>